Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back. It's Monday the 14th. All right, so today I am decided to surprise everyone and go through each of the signs, right? From Aries to Pisces and pick one overall card, right? From this beautiful deck. And then take three cards after that, which will get every sign and a storyline for everyone individually by sign. Okay? All right. I love these cards. So let's get started on Aries. Changing it up is not a bad idea since, right? Since we don't like to always be stagnant. Okay, the pillar, actually the pillars. It is one structure, however, but it is a complete um, structure of balancing your head versus heart, your the rights and the wrongs, right? Let's do it this way or that way. So today, it is for today, right? For Aries, we have this beautiful the pillar. As interesting, okay, so this is interesting. As we uh, as we look at it, it looks like two pillars, right? But it is the pillar. It is one. So that's nice. That depiction is beautifully described as the yin and yang being whole by means of the bridge in which they're connected, right? So when you think one way or the other, in actuality, both route, both choices or decisions or ways of going will lead you inevitably to one path. And that'll be the path that is right for you. I hope that made sense, yeah? Okay. So let's get three cards after this. So this is your overriding theme for today, meaning should I do this today or should I do that today? Uh, is it, is it, you know, am I giving today or am I receiving? It's the polarity of the energies. Look at that. Wow. That's perfect. Okay, hold on. We're going to take three cards. Okay, so the three cards that that add more value to your reading is giving and receiving. Should I give? Should I, you know, what do I do? Oh my God, I can't sleep because as much as Aries, you're wanting to be more giving or to receive more you're worried that if you do, it will become imbalanced. So you, what do you do? You stay strong and you tame your energetic force of wanting to reciprocate or go overboard, giving more. As your sense of quality of wholeness is coming out here, huge. It's beautiful. Wow. Wow. This is really beautiful. It's not just the reciprocity, but it is. Okay. All right, Taurus. 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 It's all about play. It's playtime. But but as you can see, right? These are dolphins. And the dolphins, they innately play. They don't like they don't you know, they don't ask. 
Like, what do I do today? They don't. They go with the flow. As you can see, it's almost the depiction of the infinity, right? You may not think so, but it is. As you can see, it's okay. And that's why they structured it this way. Because they are infinitely knowing how to play. It's just their... It's just their way. So Taurus, it's time to just let it flow. Just go with the flow and feel your way through. Feel your way through by also finding a some sensibility of, of nat the natural order of, hey, I'm, you know, it's just, let's have a fun, I want to have a fun day, but unfortunately, you know, what we do as human beings, unlike the mammals, you know, we don't just go with the flow. We have to think about, oh, what are we going to do to make us happy, right? But our innate ability to be happy has been given to us since birth. So don't think about it. Just do it. Just be it. Have fun. Okay, and obviously this is why. You're not because you're you're fighting an internal battle with yourself about forgiving others who have forgiving others who have right you know deceived you right who have gone against the grain of what it is that you were fighting for. So in order to in order to achieve your happiness Taurus it's all about just being playful and not going against the grain not getting involved in the drama allowing love to flow and not being in your headspace right which you're you're actually getting out of your head but you're they're both reversed you understand so the battle between the heart, the heart, and the head is playing on you. <laughs> Literally, right? Okay, so that actually is what you're struggling today with, but you're gonna get, now that you, now that you know, be like the dolphin. Be like the dolphin, Taurus, play. Let's just. Let's do one shuffle in, right? And then, all right, Gemini, the observer, Gemini, you guys, you guys know how to observe, right? Being still, being silent, observing those around you, observing people, not by what they say, but what they do, right? Anyone can say, you know, oh yeah, I'll help you out. Or yeah, I'll come visit you. Or yeah, I'll do this. I'll do that for you. And, you know, it doesn't happen. And it is vice versa. But if I know Geminis like I know Geminis, if you do make those promises and you don't follow through and you observe yourself in doing so it's for a valid reason it's because you're not feeling that the reciprocation of that right not that you need it but in essence actions do speak louder so if you're making if you're observing the way people act or people are observing the way you act in what you say and do right they're also under they're also needing to understand how the gemini mind works because gemini's are the twins one twin says yeah for sure i'm all in and the other gemini says mm, uh one second because what are you going to how are you going to Okay. 
Oh my God. Wow. Gemini. Are you kidding me? The reciprocity again is here. I'll give you my cup, but I haven't heard and by observation have not seen your wanting this commitment. Why? Because someone's lurking. Because that third party needs to end. And it doesn't need to end, but that's what you're observing. You're observing people who say, oh my God, I love you so much. I want to give you that commitment for the rest of my life. I'll give you the world, right, Gemini? But the, obs the observer is here. That's the third party. Ooh, wow. That took a twist. Wow. That really did. <laughs> almost, almost lost the cards on that one. <laughs> All right. All right, what are we doing? Cancer. Cancers. Let me focus. Ooh, Cancer, did you see that? Oh my God, you landed perfectly here. Wow, higher perspective, no shit. That's amazing. So you are definitely higher ground, right? Higher truth, your perspective on life, on your life, on, the, on where you're headed is coming from like the bird's eye view of the hawk, right? The eye of the hawk. The moon, femininity, the wings to fly, right? In layman's terms, right? Taking the high road and seeing things from a higher perspective, meaning, well, let me look at all the angles of the situation. How does it look from up here versus 3D, you know? You're looking at it from like 5D. All right, I really... I'm hoping you guys like this, these readings, because uh, they're really bringing in a different flair. Um, I like it. All right, hopefully you do. All right, so you're looking at a higher perspective, and here you are, Cancer. It's all about where that cup's going, right? So that's what the issue is. It's that Five of Pentacles. That Five of Pentacles that sometimes seems to be appearing so often in these readings. So you're already, you're already, you're looking, you're looking, but you're looking at this. You're looking at the cup that's half full. It's like, is this love offer one that is made with all your heart? Are you seeing every aspect of, is this about the love that you give to others, Cancer? Is it, is it by, by your, um, by your perception of how much time and effort you put into something? Is your love defined by how much time and effort versus just give the cup and see what happens? right? You want to give this cup, you get on your horse, and then you get to the point where you're like, oh, right? You have to look at, are you looking at someone for the value of the dollar? Like, are you saying, oh, geez, I want to give my cup to this person, but they're always wanting a handout. They're not on the same vibration as me, Financially, let's just say, right? We always want to, we, we want to try spiritually, emotionally, mentally to, to have the same vibe going across the board, right? But here, the reason why the higher perspective is coming in is because you're truly, you're truly in love 
with someone and universe is saying, take, take, look at this from a higher perspective. Just because someone doesn't have the means now doesn't mean that they're not going to. Doesn't mean that if you don't have the job or you got fired or you left your job or whatever it is, and now you feel like you've been abandoned, revisit what your definition of this love means to you. And I'm talking about self-love too. Love of family, self-love, all of it. Take the look at it from a bird's eye view, meaning the hawk. Gain some wisdom on what makes you fall in love. Seek it out within yourself first. All right. That's why I love these cards. Seriously. All right, we're going to Leo now. Leo. Leo, reflect. What are you doing? You are taking time and you're reflecting on, I don't know why I'm, what used to be a union here of soul counterparts. If you are in a union, you're reflecting on this feeling of connectivity. All right, Leo. Beautiful. It is, it is a for sure connection that brings much joy, Leo. Whether or not it's in your life, I don't know but you're reflecting on that, right? Okay, you did get four cards and I am gonna keep the four cards because that's that explains the story. You're manifesting, you're manifesting and reflecting on what it is that you're wanting. You're, you're, you have gotten out of a You've gotten yourself out of a situation with others who don't see eye to eye. They don't understand you. They don't see your vision like you do. And even though you had to release these people from your, from your world, that's what you're reflecting on. The people that you have, you don't have ties with, right? You're looking back. You're reflecting back on the people that this is not by any means. It's just a reflection of the people that have come and gone in your life. And that's the reflection, right? And now you're manifesting a new life of fun, love, celebration, but it's being done through a healing. So you're still healing here, even though it's reversed. You're reflecting and healing. There's the reflection through the water, right? Drink more water. A lot of you are just parting it up, manifesting a whole new life, right? That's like, that is trying, you're trying to, I think on the external, this is your external and this is your internal. Yes. Yes. And that's why four came, four cards came out. The reflection that you see is where you've been and who, how you had to surrender and heal to what has been to, in order to have the fulfillment and happiness, right? And start of something new. Wow. All right, Virgo, it is, I feel like, um, I feel with Leos, I feel this sense of sadness in, in the reflection. So you're, you're not 100% healed, but you are moving on and trying to kind of like mask that 
not in a bad way, right? Just trying to move on, really, Leo. All right, Virgo. Virgo. Love. Wow, Virgos. Are you in love? Are you seeking love? Are you wanting love? You have your, your hands are out, right? To the universe. I'm ready. I'm ready for love, right? That's a song. I'm ready for love. I think it's bad company. I know. For all you millennials out there watching, it's funny. <laughs> but hey, all I can say is the music, the music in that will will give you like a new sense of understanding of the music that today, you know, is out there loving it. Music may be significant because I brought it up. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Are you not kidding? Are you kidding me right now? Virgos. You're going after a passionate new beginning in love. You're going for it. That's it. It's love, right? I mean, I'm, there's no other question about it. Look. Look at it. It's the same. It's the same feeling. The love, the new beginning in love. You're going for it. It's passionate, new, and you want it. And you're doing it. You're being guided to go for it. All right, so, so Virgos, you may have a new love or whatever, oh, I just heard, whatever this love, this love is, it brings you home. That is amazing. Great, great, great. Okay, uh, Libra. Libra, Libra, fate, we have fate, the heavens are working on everyone's behalf, but whatever is in yours, Libra, is fated, not that it's not fated for all, right, it's just right here, right now, we live in the present moment, this is fate, so whatever is transpiring, whatever energy is illuminating the road, the route, the journey, the path, whatever you want to call it, it's illuminating for you. It's under, it's God's plan. That's, okay, Libra. It's God's plan. No fear, breaking free from that which does not feel right. Breaking free from the uh, the by the hold of not having stability in your life. You're breaking free. You want stability. You're you're not fearful anymore about your life, and you're, it is faded. For you to understand also that whatever is coming for you is faded, that you've been waiting, you've planted these seeds and you've waited. It's also about you're not fearful of how you uh, give and receive in terms of your time and energy, right? You're very... You're, you're rebuilding your, your foundation here. That's what you're doing. Thank you. It's faded. Your whole foundation from the ground up is being rebuilt on the basis of love, not fear. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Scorpios. Scorp, what is happening for Scorpios? The alchemist, oh my gosh, look at that. 
you are the magician manifesting, right? The yin and the yang. What are you manifesting? What is it that you're trying to, like, like you're trying to remold, re, not mold. It's not a good word, right? <laughs> but it is. You're, you're remolding yourself, your, the vision you have for yourself. You see the stars, the universe right here, the stars. You're trying to just literally like clay, molding something into a whole new different life, right? Maybe it's it could be job, it could be whatever it is. You're trying to make it work and make it fit into whatever life that you're whether it be family, home, right? Family is home, but not always. It could be you wanting to establish. Look at that, Scorpios. You're looking at that cup of love that you have, and you're looking at your home, your home life. What part of your home life is it that you need to always feel defensive about? right? You're alchemizing it. You're changing the way you look at it. You're changing. Molding means to change your perspective on your ideas of what home is to you, right? Do you look at it from a negative defensive point of view? Are you defending your home? Are you defending your family so others can't get in? Right? Are you... Are others trying to, right? Is there a fight going on with you or is the fight with others? But it is about home, commitment, family. This is a family. This is a husband and wife and you have someone in the background here. Are you looking into someone's life and someone's happiness? And defending that, wanting that for yourself. Not so much defending, but wanting that. Missing that. Missing home. Right, Scorp? Missing that feeling of family and home. And you, maybe you can't be there right now. Who knows? Whatever home means to you and whatever feels like home. Right? What's that song? Feels like forever? I just heard that song. Feels like forever. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I. it's not um, Sam Smith. It's someone else. All right, let's go. Sag. Sag, withdraw. So Sag, it's time to take a seat in order to regroup, in order for something to flourish, right? In order for you, it's kind of like you need to go in, you need to withdraw inside within yourself in order to get the fragrance of the life that it is that you are wanting. Oh, that's, wow. And that, that withdraw is, it looks like a fox. So be mindful of that. This looks, it's a cat curled up, but it looks like a fox. So withdraw because whatever you're looking at or whatever you're thinking about may be, oh, I'm your, I'm your BFF, but in actuality, they're not, right? Or what are you showing up also? It's time to withdraw and really get a semblance of what that what that's talking about, what it means to you. All right, Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So go with what you feel. So here's what it is. You need to go with how you're feeling. Go within and find your center of intuition, compassion, 
Look beyond the surface of others. Look beyond the sur just the surface when you're looking at this, this pentacle, right? What is it that you value in yourself and others? What is it that you love about yourself and others? And where is it taking you? It's time to go inward and let universe guide you where it is that you are being led to go. You want to make sure that you hang with the people that have substance and quality, not just surface, right? Okay. Capricorns. Capricorns. What's happening for you? Transmutation. Transmuting. Right? Your transformation, you're transmuting who you are and what you represent to the world, right? Like ever-changing. It's like you're, you know, you're evolving into what it is that you want. What you are showing others right this is you and how your your mind body and soul transmutation how you think how you who you are is changing yeah because you're working hard on yourself good for you caps you're working hard on on yourself why because you have these two cards surrounding that. I was just trying to pick them up. Love and honorability, I feel here, is, is what is transmuting your in your life. You're working hard on yourself in order to find this, this qual the quality of life is you working hard on yourself. I mean, above all, you must transmute these energies into what it is that you see it as and how you that affects your life, right? Putting in all your energy into the way that you want to be. Changing the way that you see things. Changing you. So you're like, you're evolving right now. All right. Nice. That was a very nice, Capricorn. Good for you. And you're putting a lot of work in that, by the way, because of your past pains, which is very honorable. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, you flew. Ask, what is it? Ask your body. That flew out, you guys. Aquarius, it's all about your body is your navigation. It is telling you what is feeling right and what is feeling not so good. Follow what your body says. Are you eating right? Are you drinking water? Are you keeping your body healthy and happy? Because it will show up, Aquarius, as that's like the first place it goes is your body, right? Why? Because mind, body, soul, right? Your mind tells tells your body by way of what is going on within you. So within and without, right? All right, let's see what this is about. What is what is universe trying to say here? All right, universe is saying that your body is tired. Look at that. You're, you're tired, you're emotionally drained. Oh, wow. Emotional draining, your energy about a decision. It's draining your energy. There's a decision that you have to make. So this decision that you have to make, Aquarius, must be done by listening to your body. 
if it feels good, if the decision that you have to make is like, oh my God, my heart is expanding. I like, I feel great about this going this way. If your body is saying, oh, I am feeling anxiety. I'm, you know, uh, I feel my extra heart palpitations. I feel some stress going on. That's your body's way of saying, chill. Don't make the decision right now, right? No decision is a decision. So maybe that is what your what the whole the whole thing that this is about is maybe not to make a decision when you don't know that if you're not in your right energetic mind, right? If it doesn't feel good, it's all about how you feel here and you're drained. So you're not making decisions based on like, don't make decisions when your body is drained. You know what I mean? So no decision is a good decision when you don't know what to do. Okay. And we have Pisces. One more shuffle. Pisces. This went a little over, but I like the, you guys let me know. I like the, um, how did this get on here? Oh, sorry. Pisces. There was crap on there. Oh, you're transmuting as well. So your energetic field is changing. You're evolving into what it is that you see yourself and others as, right? The caterpillar turns into butterfly. Okay, now you got four cards and I will take them because we have, you're like, you're making, you're wanting to make decisions. Pisces, you need to find, you need to be more like, or you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? The Gemini, Libra, the air signs. In When it's coming to love, Pisces, think less, worry less. So what you're thinking about is worrying you right? And it's about this. So Pisces, your inability to collaborate with others in a love situation, there's, is there a third party situation going on here in love? And it's giving you like, it's, it's very trying for you. Now, I feel this is it's funny because it's not funny, but it's, are you at a work? Are you falling in love with someone from work? Right? And it's, it's keeping you up at night and it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you have, I think you've, I think you didn't plan on it. I really feel like you didn't plan on this. And now you're changing you're changing how you look at love because you have fallen for someone that is probably very much unlike what you've fallen for in the past. You're like, how could this happen, right? How could this happen? You're up late at night. You could be up late at night thinking about this person that you work with that you're falling for. And you have no idea how it happened. <laughs> I love it. All right. That's the daily. It went, it actually is 40 minutes. So I have to tell you that um, I really like it. Tell me if you like it. I wish you a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.